Hello, everybody. Welcome back, baby. Beth thinks she's stroppy this morning, but she's not, and she'll be fine. We're gonna we're gonna reel her out of it together. Wait, hang on a minute. I'm, what, real? I'm not in a strop. I'm in a strop too. No, you're in a strop. We're in a strop. No, you're in a strop. We're in a strop. Why are you in a strop? I don't know. You are, you're in a funk. Yeah. You are too. No, you are. Me. Wait, I'm not well. Don't give me this shit. You've just I've watched got text messages from you yesterday saying, I'm fucking in my life. No, 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 no I never said that. <laughs> you literally just watched me be sick and I'm showing up every day and filming this podcast for everybody. So I'm here and I'm bringing the energy. I'm not in a funk. I'm fine. You basically just had a breakdown to Brian because he told you to bring the energy and you were like, don't fucking tell me to bring the energy. Anyway, should we roll the intro? <sighs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding and welcome the Unfiltered Bride podcast. Tips from the top table and beyond. So you know it's going to be juicy. Are you ready? I don't want to speak to you. Okay. That's a problem, isn't it? This would be awkward. (laughs) (laughs) What do we do if we fall out? Brian just does it for me and I'm out. Are you out? Yeah. Okay. I feel like you guys have like, you're going to be the, um, oh, what's the people that um, present uh, Love is Blind? I don't know. Oh yeah. Um, Emma. No, I'm, I'm talking about the uh, American version. Oh. Oh, who's that? I don't know who that is. Oh, this... oh Jessica. No. Oh. <laughs> People do think he looks like Nick Lachey. Is that who it is? It is Nick Lachey, isn't it? Yeah, Nick Who's Lachey. Who's his new good wife? Not Nick, Jessica Nick. Simpson anymore. Oh, Nick Lachey. It's the other wife. Who is it? That broke my heart in the 90s. Nick Lachey. He's 50. Bang it, mate. Oh, oh. Was he when I was young then and he was married to ne- Jessica Simpson? Vanessa and Nick Lachey. They're a power duo, aren't they? I like her. Yeah, to be fair, Jack wouldn't come on the podcast with you. No. We'd have to find somebody else. Yeah. Anyway. We won't. We're here, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> it would take a, seriously a lot for us to fall out. What would, we just we would just say to each other. I think you just you're get pissing on with me it. off. Shut up. We're doing the podcast, and uh, here we are. Um, I think I've got more chance of falling out of Brian than you. Me too. There's more chance of both of us leaving Brian. But then we need Brian. No, I reckon we can pay someone to do Brian's job. He can't pay anyone to do what we're doing this well. Oh, you can't pay for personality, huh? No. no. <laughs> Bring the energy, baby. <laughs> anyway. And he, how would he tell somebody, like if he was going to do the podcast, <laughs> but he was getting other people to talk on it, how the fuck is he supposed to sit there and go, I guess we need some more energy. He wouldn't. He's pussy. More energy. More footwork. More fashion. More passion. More, passion. more, more energy. energy. More, more footwork. footwork. Is yeah. it what it says? Yeah. Anyway, okay. what are we Sorry. talking about? So, okay, I have an idea for this episode. Why are you punching yourself? Because uh, I have an idea for the episode. All right. Because the more weddings I've been going to recently, the more I've been thinking about what, where this vibe is coming from. What vibe? The vibe. This vibe? The vibe. The one, the stroppy vibe? This vibe is a vibe because of us. Yeah. Yeah. The vibe at a wedding is also because of the people. Yeah. So I've been thinking about it more. So I went to back-to-back weddings the other day. And one had everything that you could want. Everything. Yeah. Had it all. But the vibe was not there. What do you mean? The people. But I, is that like a guest list problem? I don't know. This is what I was literally stood there thinking. Like, what? what? Tell me, like, what do you mean? What the vibe? There was no like... Was it... Okay, we, I'll we give you the wedding? example. No. It had... Oh, on paper. So wonderful. They done, so they've listened, everything right. listened to yep. every single yep. one of our episodes. Yep. And it still wasn't right. Yeah. If, and I don't mean it wasn't right. Maybe not right is the, not the right word because to them it might have been right. But I was the one who started every clap in a speech. That's how I know but if I the vibe is right. It's sometimes your job as well. Yeah, but typically it'll be when there's, I'll, they'll say my wife and I and I'll go, Ooh, and then everyone joins in. I'm like, cool. They just didn't know that's the thing. Yeah. You clap at the end of a speech. Everybody claps at the end Stop. of a speech. They didn't clap. They just weren't going to. Are you sure? Yeah. And I was just thinking, do these people just not... And also, do loads of weddings where, like, the bridal party just aren't a vibe? And I, is it because the bride has been annoying and they're just all pissed off? Is it because they're not really good mates? Is it because they're tired? Is it because they can't be bothered? Like, what's where does the vibe come from? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, so I still don't know. But what I would like to do for this episode is talk about, from the very... The, the day the letter comes through the door... 
for Hogwarts, no, for um, <laughs> for a wedding. Yeah. Right through to the week after, I wanted to talk about how to be a good wedding guest. Yeah, but you're saying this, but like, what if you're just not a vibey person? Like our vibe to, our definition of vibe to someone else's definition of vibe could be very different. Fair, but that's what I want to discuss. <laughs> okay. Okay, right. Hello? It's the postman. Surprise the dog didn't bark. <laughs> it's the postman. Hi. Here's a letter. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Our acting skills need work. <laughs> you can tell that we have not planned this. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, bye. Oh. Here's here's the other big package oh, you ordered no, from go- Porn and Direct. Can Where? You porn? Is that a shop? Huh? Love Honey. That's what I was trying porn to get to. Porn you freak. <laughs> that kind of podcast <laughs> love honey did some work with me once and they were like yeah i know and you shared something and i was like come on put a picture of it on <laughs> <laughs> show like, the world well you shared i was like i can't i can't no not like that but i don't mind because i like their stuff i was like i don't mind saying that i've got this but i'm not fucking wearing it Aww. i don't think brian got ever got to see it on <laughs> anyway i'm opening up my letter already okay you realize that people do also watch this <laughs> they can just see you do it finger in your menu Stop being so rude. Fingering? Yeah. You took it to a rude place. That's not where I was going with it. All right, wow. it's open. It's open. Georgina and Brian cordially invite you to their New Year's Eve extravaganza. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, this invite looks amazing. What are you doing now? I'm going to read all the details. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a brilliant episode. <laughs> oh, New Year's Eve. Hmm. Do I really want to go? Do I not want to go? Do I like them that much to give Happy up my Happy with all of this conversation. Oh, I don't like Georgie, but I like Brian more. <laughs> but are mm. you going to text saying, I'm thinking about it, or you're not? No. No, you're just going to talk about it at home, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. Jack, do, do you want to go? Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to stop you there. I, I've got an idea for the episode now, right? We're just going to go through it. You're going to be the guest. I'm going to stop you every time you do something wrong. Whoa. Is it, Jack invited? Yes. All right, just checking. Beth's plus one. <laughs> Do you know what, actually? Yeah. I want to fucking say something on that. On because then. I think if you know their partner's name, you should put it down. Oh, so, yeah. You can't put plus one if you know their so, name. So, so, what? So, uh, we got a letter through the post a couple of years ago. And it was like, Jack, uh, Jane Newman and guest. <gasps> That's shady. Wait, guest. how close was... Do they know you? I've never met them, but we'd been together a good few years. Okay. Right? It's not hard to go on fucking Instagram or Facebook if you don't know my name. <laughs> Sorry, just saying this. I completely agree. And I, I sent a picture of it. I didn't even open it. I just sent a picture of the envelope to Jack. <sighs> and I went, I'm not going. No, I wouldn't go either. Did he I'm, go? I'm not a random... Did you go? No, I didn't go. Did he go? Yeah. <gasps> I said, I'm not random. If they didn't have a partner... And it wasn't was it official. A yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, get it. Yeah. Cool. Oh my god, that you is shady. For, isn't it? You're sending it to our home address. <laughs> Just go on the internet and you can find out who lives there. Literally. Wow. So don't do that. I think that's disrespectful. That is disrespectful. And if you are doing that, you shouldn't really be inviting them. Like, I wouldn't be bothered if I wasn't invited because I didn't know you. <laughs> I, I don't know you. I don't. I don't know you. So I, I, fi- I find it awkward. Would we go, find it awkward going yeah, to a yeah. wedding of people I didn't know? Hi, this is my biggest thing. Hi, nice to meet you. Congratulations on your wedding. It's yes. fucking weird. I'm sorry. It's weird. I agree. I don't. But okay, right. But is it weird if you really know the other person? No, evening guest. What if you're quite? What if you work with one of them and they're like your work bestie, but you don't know their partner? Go for a drink beforehand. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we're talking about being a good guest. You've now, you've got your invitation. Yeah. It says Beth and plus one. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It does. In my example, it's Beth plus one. Okay, fine. What are you saying now? Jack, you've been invited to a wedding. Yeah. On New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve? <laughs> Fuck that. I won't go into their wedding on New Year's Eve. What else would you be fucking doing on New Year's Eve? Yeah, shut your mouth then, you're yeah. coming. All right, so we've decided, we've checked our diaries. Check your diaries? Yep, fine. We just need to sort the dog out. We need dog care. We need to find okay. someone, check our parents. Everyone's yep. fine. fine. What's the, how long away is New Year's Eve? Six months. Cool. Okay. Do you sort the dog out now? Yeah. You're going to do it immediately? Well, New Year's Eve, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just, we're, are we being a perfect guest here? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, sort out the dog immediately. Okay. So shall I tell you what I'd actually do? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. For anybody who's listening and not watching, she's put it down and walked away. <laughs> I'll revisit this. When? But I probably won't because my life's busy. Yeah, I know. So why don't you just do it immediately? Okay, fine. Is there an RSVP on there? 
RSVP by September. <laughs> RSVP by October the 1st. Cool. What are you going to do? RSVP by October the 1st. Or? Just do it now. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Go on then. How, how do I RSVP? Do I send them a letter back? I'm not paying for a fucking time to send them a letter back. <laughs> You're having a laugh. Cost a living. <laughs> Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Have a look again. Have they included a stump in the thing? No, no, they didn't. Oh. Because Georgie and Brian are frugal. <laughs> um, but there is a QR code that I can scan. There we go. Scan it then. Oh, oh they're asking for a fucking password to the website. <laughs> is it on the invitation? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it's, a long, <laughs> it's a long password. What were you not going to do? Text the couple and say, do you have the password? Yes, I'll fucking invite. Why do you need a password if I you've got know. a QR code? I didn't have a password. You did. I did not have a password. Oh. I had a password that you could set up if you RSVP'd and then you logged back in to change your RSVP. Okay, all right. <clears throat> don't, don't put a password. Long. Basically, yeah, you need... Whoa, 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 whoa. Surely you do need a password. What randoms in there? Get on no there. one's going to get the QR code, you stupid. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think you've just got to make it... A, it's like, you know, they describe it. It's like when you're checking out on something online. If you're buying something online, if the process yes. is easy, people will do it. The amount of baskets I've left because I'm like, I don't know where Is I'm it going. three clicks? I think apparently you should be able to get from that to yeah. done in three clicks. Yeah. So the first click is getting onto the website. Yep. This I feel like in three clicks, you have to get them to the RSVP bit. Okay. I then type in my name and yep. my partner's name. Yep. Cool. It picks me up. Dietary requirements. No, I'm not there yet. Okay, sorry. I'm now in. Are you attending? Yes. Cool. Do you have any dietary requirements? No, but I don't like spicy food. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that doesn't get to go on there. <laughs> Just put it on if it makes you feel better. Yeah, and we'll ignore it this end. Yeah. Okay. That's you it. Done? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What are you doing now? I'm going to click through the rest of the website. Oh, yeah. their love story. How fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> How amazing. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Mm, where's the menu that's what i want to know about mm, what food are we having how much food are we having when's the food start? people care about when yeah. the food is what the food is da 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 what time does it say you have to be there or what time does it say the ceremony is <sighs> ceremony is at one o'clock what does that mean beth it says arrival at twelve fifteen. cool so i'm gonna get there for twelve fifteen. are you no nope, twelve thirty. <laughs> fine fashionably late cool yep no worries no worries at all um, oh, it also does say there is no accommodation on site and you can't get a taxi without pre-booking. Oh, what are we going to do now? Text the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me out? Can you taxi? But now what's a good guess? Here are three taxi company. Right, I'll ring them. You're going to text your mates and say, anybody else getting a taxi? No, I don't know anyone doing? else going. No, okay, cool. Hello. Yes, I'd like to book a taxi for New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve? <laughs> Away. what are you on about <laughs> well i've got an invite from georgina rose events telling me i need to book a ta- sorry you can't book one this early on you need to give us a call in three months what are you doing now gonna set a reminder there we go <laughs> to do that cool that's it what else are you do but i think if you are um a couple getting married and you're putting taxi numbers on there for a wedding date you need to preempt them and say look oh, we're gonna get people booking great can shout. we open it up great shout Oh, top tip oh god honestly I'm just so excited same for hotels tip. yep just say we're should you tell hotels though what if they say no we don't do other people's weddings hotels a hotel aren't hotels a hotel premier in premier in i got my cup but it's on brand yeah, you, just, okay? you literally just hit yourself in the face with a straw <laughs> i'm trying to drink more me too alcohol <laughs> clean girl era <laughs> um okay Apparently it makes your face less swollen Get me Drown from the leaders, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Drown me. Right, okay. Okay, tell me three things. At this point, you're not going to do. I'm not going to text the bride. Oh, no, I am going to text the bride, you know. I am. I'm going to sit okay, over yeah, yeah. and say, thank you so much for the invite. It looks amazing. We've RSVP'd. Let so me know excited. if I can do anything. Yeah. So excited. What are you not going to do on the text? What do I need to do? What do I need to wear? What's going on? What time's yeah. food? Yeah. I don't like the venue. It's a bit far from me. <laughs> Have you thought about that? Can I bring my kids? Yeah. Okay. What's another thing you're not going to do? What am I not going to do? Ignore it? Yeah. I'm not going to You can it. ignore it, but you have to put a thing back in the calendar to remind you of it, or it goes somewhere where you have to look at it every day until you've done it. Yep. And you set a reminder for three weeks before that RSVP deadline. Yep. And something else you're not going to do? What else am I going to not do? I'm not going to. I'm enjoying my role play. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I'm not going to take a photo of it and put it online. Oh, yeah, but I don't think people, I don't think guests do that. You'd be surprised. No. 
I, I would know. I'd take maybe a little photo of the envelope, yes, maybe. Yes, with your name like, on. Eek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited. Agreed. But we're not going to put on... The detail. The whole deets. Why? I've... um uh, Your... Me? Client, stationery company, did that. And yeah, I sent I it to you. And I went, what the fuck? And what did I do? Did you speak to them? Told the bride. Said, are you happy with this? She went, no, not really. I said, I sort that out. Did you sort it out, would she? She had been the person that was speaking to the stationery mm. company, so she did. But again, you can't, shouldn't be putting that information out it's into the world. Literally, it had the whole thing on it. I also don't mind if you do it where you've covered the date yeah. and the name. Like, I don't think it's your right as a guest to or be putting any, inf- or as a supplier, to be giving anybody any information about the date, the you location. Don't, you don't know, like... Um, they might not have told, there might be issues yeah we so we had it before i think i've told this story where i used to work at a wedding venue someone called and tried to cancel oh yeah, yeah, their yeah. ex's wedding yeah and i was like mm. i had one before where i wasn't allowed to post anything from the wedding um and i sort of said to them like oh yeah it's no problem but like why just nosy um uh, and it was something to do with a family member that they weren't inviting that was quite like cray uh, cray and they would literally have come yeah or kicked off about it after so i just wasn't allowed to put anything with the date and stuff and i was like yeah it's yeah, fine fair. um cool okay so you're invited it's in your diary when are you gonna look at clothes oh, the week off <laughs> the week off if it was me yeah but but we've been a me. good guest yeah six weeks before yeah what are you wearing um so there is a dress code on here which i actually ignored for georgie's wedding um which i didn't actually see. what did i put on it for mine black tie didn't you oh yeah yeah, yeah. i didn't wear black no it doesn't mean black Okay. Anyway, so it just said dress. It's we never get a chance to dress up these days. So yeah. go glam. Um, so there's a dress code that says black tie. Okay. So let's talk about that. What does black tie mean? I was about to ask you that. Mm. Do you want people in black? Do you want people in tux? Do you want? So to me, black tie is like cocktail party. Is long dresses. Yeah. It's not. Doesn't have to be to the floor. I wore a long dress. What did you wear to our wedding? Green. Same color as the bridesmaids. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nice. With the sleeves though. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> but Georgie didn't tell me what colour the bridesmaids were in. I didn't, you're right. And that's what I think you should include is please avoid these colours. Because I saw a TikTok the other day of a guest turning up in an exactly the same bridesmaids dress and she was like, Well, I didn't know. And she yeah. felt uncomfortable all yeah. day. But like no one can blame you. What'd you do if you turned up and it was the same dress? I'd probably go to a shop and get changed. Not on New Year's Eve, you're not. Mm. I would cut it. Yeah, I'd do something. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, in hindsight, I probably should, but I didn't want to cut out a whole... It's hard because half of me doesn't want to tell people what they're wearing. Yeah, but it's, it's awkward for them as well. It used to well. be a secret, didn't it? Yeah, but like if you... Yeah, no, like, like... I'd feel awkward. I felt awkward wearing dark green in your bridesmaids room brought dark green. I was like, oh, but this is awkward. Really? I didn't even... Yeah, but I don't know whether you'd be bothered by it. I don't care. Yeah, if but... you were in the same dress, I'd be like, this is weird. Yeah, but... But I'd also take a photo with you and be like, lol, yeah. extra bridesmaids. Bride like, bride again, bride. it is that attitude on the day, isn't it? If, if, if you were someone a guest, you didn't like... Yeah, 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 100% knock you out. <laughs> so yeah, you joking i love you you would have just been an honorary bridesmaid you would have fit the dark hair memo yeah <laughs> um okay so if you're being a good guest and you do arrive in an outfit that is the same as the bridesmaids you're cutting it yeah we'll change i'll be like but your attitude is funny what are you doing if you arrive and some guest is in the same dress that's my worst nightmare that happens at a lot of weddings i know and it's my worst nightmare. but you just gotta roll with it again can you change something on it yeah but just roll with it yeah it's not a big deal yeah in the grand scheme of life yeah sometimes you have to be like okay that's annoying yeah. never mind move on um okay so you get in your outfit early enough are you messaging the bride about the black tie or are you figuring it out i would probably message but because she's not clear enough and okay. because i don't want to offend I'm would not you go gonna... directly to the bride is there not somebody no, else you could be no, messaging i'm not gonna i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna message around i'm gonna be like i'm not gonna send you photos of dress i'm like just to clarify do you want us in black okay yeah fine that's i like and i'll be like well that's kind of on you you didn't tell us properly i don't think black tie is black mm. not for women i think it is no it's not all right should we find out what black tie is i feel like we should know this men are requested to wear a tuxedo but can opt for a dark suit women can choose either formal evening gown or shorter cocktail dresses or dressy separates Mm. yeah they're not in black no it would be it would be guests in black yeah please wear all black yeah okay so unless it's super obvious but i also think there's a difference between texting a bride saying hey can't wait can't wait for the wedding just sort of my outfit can i clarify black tie doesn't mean black yeah that's a 30 second answer for me as the bride to yep. say oh no sorry just 
dressy. Yeah. You now know I've given you the information. Or I'd save it for like when I next saw them. Yes, agreed. So So we could talk about the wedding. Okay, let's go there then. So you've RSVP'd, you're involved. What are you now doing between then and the wedding? So we'll obviously meet up for a few drinky poos. Yeah. I'll be like, oh my God, how's the wedding Have we met Jack? Yeah. How's the wedding planning going? Oh my gosh, it sounds amazing. I wouldn't do that as well. I wouldn't, me going to Jack. Oh, (laughs) oh, Pampas. I wouldn't do that. (laughs) I love my Pampas. You didn't really have any. Yeah, I did. You had honesty. No, it was still Pampas. No, you didn't. I had a fucking cloud with some Pampas in. Honesty. It had P- pampas in it was an honesty cloud yeah it still had pampas in i don't think it did don't make me look at it maybe it did it did yeah. there was lots of pampas i like okay. pampas okay how many times can i say pampas <laughs> anyway so i'm gonna not tell you that if i have pampas. any opinion yeah i will not tell you about it what about if i so you're an industry professional mm. are you gonna tell me anything yeah because <laughs> i feel like your wedding reflects me <laughs> you're not working my wedding though in this scenario no. you're just a guest yeah, but i'd tell you so I say... Oh, look, that's not going to work, hun. I'm going to have pampers but and then candles next this. to it. Yeah. What are you going to say? That's not safe. <laughs> I'm going to have these confetti streamers that are attached. No, that's not safe. Okay. Is there anything else that needs to be happening in the lead up to the wedding? Um, I think just sorting yourself out. Yeah. Just don't give them any more drama than needs to be. I All know. right, it's Hindu time. Woo! You're invited. Oh, okay. I've got my inv- I've got my text message. Got your text. Here they are. Hey, you've been added to a group chat. Woo! It's Georgie Fest 2022. Woo! It's gonna be two thousand pounds in Marbella. Okay. Are you in for one night? I'm in for two grand. I'm in. <laughs> I am fucking missing out. I'm being lost. Don't worry about me. Okay, Beth's in. What are you doing for the hen do then? Saying yes to everything. Cool. Turning up. What if you can't afford it? Wearing what they want me to wear. Yeah. Um, if I can't afford it, I'd be like, oh, this sounds amazing, girls. I really appreciate all the effort, but unfortunately, I can't afford it. Let me know if you're doing a home one. Yep. I'd love to be there. <sighs> Could you imagine if weddings just went like this? I I'm so happy right now. Um, okay. When are you telling me you can't afford it? As soon as a text message comes through. Cool. What if it says it's roughly £1,000 and then we get close to the time it's now 1800 I'd be like, unfortunately, like the initial budget I did put aside was £1,000. Like, is there, a, can I come for one night, half day? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little half day job yeah can i contribute towards anything for the hen and not be there would you do that yeah cute yeah i like that idea i also think like this would be if somebody couldn't come to my hindu if they arranged like if they found out where i was going for the night and arranged like a round of shots yeah that to me is top level friendship. Yeah. If I you're agree. not coming, that's okay. And honestly, each their own on different budgets and where you are in life and stuff like that. If you are still thoughtful enough to do something like that, you win. Yep. Bow down. Top tier guest. I agree. Um, cool. Okay. So you didn't come to the abroad one. You've sent me a sh- round of shots. You're coming to the UK hen. What are you not doing? Give me three things you're not doing. I am not going to cause any drama. Yep. I'm going to say... I'm going to agree with everything, even if I don't agree, and I'm going to wear whatever you tell me to wear, even if I don't want to wear it. Yes, thank you. Okay, it's the week of the wedding. Mm-hmm. My wedding is on Saturday. What are you doing this week? Um, I'm making sure all, all my plans are finalised. My dog sitter is definitely in the diary. My yep. outfit's ready. Yeah. I've got my tan booked in, yep. my nails, my hair. Yep. I'm looking good. I've got a card. Yeah, all nice. Sorry, go back. Got a card. Yeah. What's in your card? A voucher. Oh, okay what for gift card for what <laughs> i like the idea of a gift card no i hate it no 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 of like a a restaurant no or... give oh. the money everyone wants to have their honeymoon don't they like yeah all right, on, like, like, like all right um how much thousand pounds <laughs> all right yeah we are being a very good guest let's be a normal guest what's the rule i think it's 50, 50 pounds, pounds per person, person 25 evening yep that's where i sit with it yep um lol when me and brian opened our so we had a card box at our wedding and then my dad did that little box with um advice to go in i didn't know anything about this box but my dad had set it up somebody from my evening had put their card in it Mm -hmm. and obviously when we sat and did our thing of like sending out thank you cards and writing doing little stuff they never had one and i just i didn't really i wasn't even annoyed because i was like they're an evening guest i couldn't care found their um card later with like it was like a hundred pound in it I was like, that was brilliant to have a year later. But yeah. then I text her immediately like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. What did they I say? She was like, oh my God, I thought it was the card box. And I was like, no, 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 it literally <laughs> said cards on it. 
but it wasn't the anyway that was funny um give more context so there was a second card box it was with, with advice, advice yeah yeah for you to read a year later yes yeah, sorry we opened it a year later do you remember what i wrote on my card no i should try and bring him in <laughs> you said something about fancying brian probably no i didn't what did you say i said keep being the good housewife brian that you oh, are thank yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you um okay so you've brought a card that's great that you remember that well done mm -hmm. bought that ahead of time remember to bring it with you um, is there anything you're saying to me the week of the wedding? How are you feeling? Are you yep. excited? Are you annoyed if I don't reply? No. No. Because I know you've got a lot on. Yeah. So maybe the text is like, just a nice... don't need to reply, but mm -hmm. I just want to let you know I'm thinking of you. Yep. Have a wonderful week. Um, by the way, guys, I recommend putting a link to this episode on your invitations. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my God, you could actually have it on the wedding mm -hmm. website that's like, hey, how to be a great guest. Bam. Here you go. Okay. It's wedding day. Woo. what are you doing now i'm getting ready yeah on time nice yep. and early nice i'm gonna bring an umbrella in case it rains nice i'm gonna take all the labels off my shoes yeah i'm just gonna be like ready what have you missed this very important getting there nope before you leave what are you eating oh i'm eating some food yeah we're having breakfast we are preparing ourselves for a non-typical day of eating yep Okay, so we're- I'm drinking lots of alcohol. Yes, so we're gonna have a nice hearty breakfast mm -hmm. of, what are you having? I'm gonna have a bacon sandwich. Oh, lovely, lovely. Um, okay, wedding, we're here, we're there. What, now I wanna know your feelings, your attitude, what you're doing, what you're not doing, all of these things. So we're arriving, it's a church. Okay, Just for perfect. reference of this. I'm gonna park sensibly at the church. Nice. <laughs> are you gonna check on your invitation that there wasn't any- parking arrangements yep. buses someone came to a wedding the other day and as they're walking up the drive i'm walking down to go and get into my car to go to the church and they were like we've missed the bus haven't we i was like you have oh no <laughs> um they had their car there so mm. it was okay and but typically churches don't have a huge amount of parking no they don't so you do your parking point is very valid but equally can you meet some mates at the venue park there and then drive over in one car mm -hmm. but as a couple it's their responsibility to let you know there's not good parking Agree. or that they need they're putting something on okay you're there you're at the church where are you not sitting in the front rows yeah where are you sitting where i'm told to sit by the <laughs> ushers <laughs> what are you not bringing what am i not bringing mm -hmm. a drink in yeah yeah anything else what am i not bringing i'd say snacks I don't think you should be bringing snacks into the church. I don't mind no. a snack in the car. Yeah, no, fair. But we don't bring snacks into the church. No, but I don't think anyone would. <laughs> I w <laughs> okay, all right. All <laughs> I don't right. know what that was. And then I'm going to turn my phone off. You are going to turn your phone off. And you're also not bringing confetti. Yes. We yes. don't bring confetti to other people's weddings. That's not how we do it these days. Yep. You're not bringing rice. You're not bringing <laughs> rice. biodegradable things. Like you don't know as a guest respectfully what they want that to look like, yep. what you're allowed to do at that point. If it's the right colors. Like if you bring blue confetti to my all white confetti line, I'm annoyed. Yeah, fair. Soz. Um, okay. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to sing hymns. I'm going to... Are you going to sing them? Yep. I will yeah. get involved. Do you have a good go for it? Yeah. Yeah. What about the bride's just walked in? What are you not doing? Clapping. <laughs> you can clap if you want. No, you don't. I've done a wedding where they clapped and it was beautiful. It wasn't a church though. No, I think that's all. It was the right vibe. It oh, was, okay. it just fit. It all fit right. the day. Um, no, what are you not doing, Beth? Talking. Yeah. What else? Yawning. Yeah. What else? Sitting down. No photos. Oh. Put your phone You've away. You've not prepped me for no, this. I know, this is more fun. But I feel like all my answers are valid. They've been great. <laughs> they have been great. We're not taking photos. No. We're even, even if it says, no, no, no. Even if it doesn't say don't unplugged take. ceremonies, we don't take photos. We don't need to take photos. We're also not saying to the photographer, oh, I would probably stand here. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, okay, so our phones are away. Yep. Our hymn books are out. Yep. We're filled with joy for the couple. Yep. We've not got late we've not come late. We've sat where we're gonna be sat. We're involved. We've done the whole ceremony. What we what are we doing? We're clapping, yep. cheering, singing, Woo! all that. Woohoo! Hey, they got married. Yay. Um Okay, we're into confetti now. Yep. What are we not doing during that? I'm not dawdling. I'm not yep. going to hang around. I'm going to be doing exactly what I'm told. Stand yep. where I'm being told. Hold yep. the confetti when I want and throw it when they tell me to throw it. Are we making lots of noise when they come yes. out? Yeah. Are we just full hype? Full hype. It's raining. That's okay. If they want to do confetti outside in the rain, I'll do it. Cool. 
You have no umbrella? No, if they don't want it in the pictures, no. I'll do okay. I'll do whatever I'm told. <laughs> right, I want a sound effect that goes, ah. Oh my God, we both did the same noise. Ah, where did you see in ah? Any dream will do. No? Just me then? Okay. <laughs> Are you too young for that? Nope. Joseph's technical dream. Oh, I know coat. what that right. is. You didn't sing with me. <laughs> As a good guest, you should have involved yourself All in right, that. Sorry. Okay. We're now going to the venue. Well, the couple are now having some photos at the church. Yep. What are you not doing? I'm not going to hang around. Yeah. We don't need to go and talk to them right yep. then. I'm going to get into my car. Yeah. And I'm going to drive straight to the venue. Yep. I'm not going to do any stop offs. Yeah. I've got my snacks in the car. <laughs> yeah. And I'm ready to go. Cool. Um, just a tip guys we they don't want you to stay at the church unless you're bridal party or like sister sibling just go they don't need to speak to i know you feel like you want to say congratulations but they don't need to see you at that moment yeah just let them have that bit see them when you get to the venue okay we're at the venue what are you doing now i'm going to park my car yes i'm gonna go in put my coat somewhere probably where where are you gonna put your coat on the coat hangers where are you not gonna put your coat on the back of the chest (laughs) yes She's so proud of herself. <laughs> yeah, okay, gonna, we're in the drinks reception. I'm going to take a drink off the tray that someone hands me. Yeah, are you going to moan about the drink? No, I'm going to drink it and I'm going to sip it because it's free. Yep. And I'm going to stand around and mingle and look at all the cute things they've done and yep. participate in all of them, apart from the lawn games. <laughs> I like, actually like playing with lawn games. I know you do. I, like I know you do. They've got acrylic lawn games there. Okay. You play them? Yep. All right. Or they've got giant Jenga their dad made them. Yep, fine. Okay. Whatever. Um, what else is important during the drinks reception? As a guest, like, I don't think you should be going off. I don't think you should be doing stuff. I think you should be yeah. be present, stay there. So, okay, how do we get around this? Because keep doing weddings, keep going to do group photos, and there keeps not being people there. Mm. What? How do we fix that? You can't say maybe someone. when you say when you leave the church, be like, okay, if you've made your way back to the venue, please all be present. We'd like to do group shots. But how long should as a couple? Well, where we are be... they going? Where? Where are they going? Like checking into their rooms? Like what are they doing? Yeah, they're going up to their rooms. They're going, they're just having a wander around the venue, which is nice. We like that. They're going to the toilet. They're doing X, Y, Z. How do we say, do we Are you allowed to go to the toilet? I agree. Christ. I agree. Sorry, sorry, God. (laughs) This isn't the God episode. You're fine. But when you then start, so yesterday, Sunday, I don't know, the wedding, last wedding I did, we stood there and we've got a big group photo. There's a lot of them. Mm. It's the whole groom's mum's side we've got everyone apart from two cousins we can't do that photo now where are they in the toilet yeah, but they're allowed to go but, to the toilet but i agree i agree but we're now stood there do we say we'll do it later or do we stand there awkwardly for seven minutes who's in the toilet for seven minutes they do if it's ladies they go and they touch with their makeup and they're yeah. doing the fucking box in there that's got all the stuff and they're changing their shoes it's what it is i think these things you can't control but how do should we be finding out as the couple when those group photos are going to be aka immediately or in the middle yeah and tell those people you could like again in the conversations before the wedding it's not like an on the day thing it's like oh you're going to be needed for the drink session so just make sure you hang around for an hour and a half Oh, I know, but then I, I want you as a guest to wander and see the venue, but I also want you there for my group photos. So how do we do I this? I think you just play. We it need to make a rule. Make one of your rules. I don't have a rule. Make a rule. I think we need to know if they're immediately or in the middle. Yeah. Because if they're immediately, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to stay there. Mm-hmm. If they're in the middle, I'm going to go directly to the toilet. Yeah. Directly for a wander, and then come back. Is it annoying to ask the photographer when the group shots are? No, because you usually have it in your timeline. No, no, sorry. As a guest. Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah, I was man. trying to be a good guest and be like, oh, I'm just going to no, pop over. No, because I have no idea who you are. Who are you? Yeah, but all the group shots are going to be within no. that half an hour. Who are you? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I think it needs to be either announced at the church or the ceremony. Could we put it in the newspapers? Yeah, maybe in the newspapers. Yeah. Yeah. Could could we do a list of the group shots in the newspapers? That's too much. Too much. Is it? Yeah, because then people are like, I want so and so with me and this and that. And you're like, oh my God, you're not doing one with Auntie Linda. Oh my God. <laughs> she needs to do one with Auntie Linda. <laughs> that also happened at that wedding. But no. she said, can we do this photo? And I was like, oh, fuck. I was literally yeah. about to say fuck off. I didn't, obviously. And she was like, they've come all the way from Canada. Uh, and so I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> off you get in. Um, what we did do that was quite good, though, is that there was a big whole group photo and it gives me a little bit of ick but i also appreciated it is that they did that whole group photo and then they were like if you are the mitchells the davises or the bridal and groomsman party stay here everybody yep. else can get a drink 
Yeah. There. I was like, I'm okay with that. I think announcements need to happen. Yeah. I did one the other day as well where they all hung around for the group shots. The photographer didn't let anybody go until he'd done all the group shots. No, I think that's too I much. know I didn't like, I wasn't a, f- it got them done quick. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But there was a point where there was some, like somebody was stood there out in a bit of the cold and I'm thinking you're not even in any of these yeah. photos. No, I agree. I think keep back the immediate family. If you're immediate family, stay here. Everybody else go and get a drink. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Fine. Um, okay. You're in a group shot. Yep. What are you doing? Um, I am posing. Yeah. Nicely. Yeah. Not doing anything weird. Nope. Not moaning. Not doing anything weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smiling. Yeah. Just happy. Oh, you want me to move over that? No problem. Yeah. Fine. Do you need to be stood next to your partner? No. Nope. Just I don't, don't care. really care. Don't yeah. care. Cool. Give me three things that good guests do in the drinks reception. Mm. Mm. Number one. They accept what drink or food is being given and don't complain and don't question it it's nice. not the time and place yep if you don't like it walk on by cool number two you participate in everything that's been given not everything but something you go and look interested yep. you go have fun yeah you enjoy it and get the kind of the admin done essentially like maybe if there's an audio guest book do the audio guest book and if there's like a date night idea do that whilst yeah. you can still remember that you're walking and alive <laughs> cool. and you're not wandering off and going anywhere you're not going to the shop to go get other food you're not putting your coat anywhere you shouldn't be you're just being a good guest agreed okay cool we are now going in for dinner perfect what are you doing now i'm gonna read the table plan yeah and i'm gonna see where i'm sat I'm going to sit exactly in that place. I'm not going to move my place setting. I'm not <laughs> what gonna... about if you just, I just wanted to swap so that you could be next to your friend? No. It's only one setting. No. Okay. Not doing it. We don't move dietaries. Cool. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we're not putting our bags anywhere. We're not moving any of whoa, the whoa, centerpieces. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we putting our bags on then? On the floor. Okay, fine. Yep. Carry on. Fine. Go over it. Yep. We're not moving any centerpieces. We're yep. not removing any of the decor. I might take a few little picks. Yep. Um, we're not fanning around with the candles. We're not putting our fingers in the wax. Yep. We're not blowing them out. We're not. No. Messing, just don't touch anything. If I've got a favour, I might eat it if it's available. Are you eating it pre? Yeah. Oh yeah. What about drink? I always think you should never drink the drink in case it's a shot. Yeah, drink. no, no, yeah. No, I agree. I wouldn't do the drink. Okay. If there's a little scratch card, I might do the scratch card. Yeah. Um but yeah, I'd probably wait until I'm told and if no one tells me what to do, I'll probably do it towards the end. What? Like if shot there's like drink. a scratch card oh, okay, or something yeah. like that, because it might be part of the speeches. That's a very good point. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're not actually using any of the stuff that's on no, there but until I might eat the cookie yeah the cookies obvi- the cookies yeah. obvious what else are you doing that's important when you sit down this is like i'm a teacher and, it's fun. and i hate you know, i hate when teachers ask you stuff like that you're like what the fuck you- i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> otherwise i would have said it what are we doing about where we're sat what? maybe the people that are around us saying hello making friends making friends talking to people so we're gonna set the vibe for that table yeah are you the fun table yeah are you the quiet table the are you table. the you're the fun table yeah. are you getting a round of drinks for the table Mm, I'm not that rich. Okay. My two grand trip to Marbella. Yeah, wiped that through. Hindu did it. Yeah. Are we pouring everyone a glass of wine? Like, I feel like that's yeah. a nice... No, I agree. ...moment to... Hospitality. Be- yeah. There's a good 15-minute window where everyone goes in and take their seats. That is the chance to be like, hi, I'm Beth. Let's break the ice. Yeah. Just, like, get everyone involved. Cool. Um, I went to a wedding once where it was all my family and then a random man. Oh. I know. We tried to involve him. He was not involved. We were like, he didn't want to be. He didn't want to be. He made it clear that he didn't want to be. Yeah. And we were like, we just want to drink. He was like, I'm sober. I was like, okay, cool. Water, bread roll. <laughs> Diet Coke, full fat Coke. Um, okay, bride and groom are coming in now. I'm standing up. Yeah. I'm being, to do, if they want me to wave my napkin, I'm going to wave the napkin. And I'm like, woo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> woo. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Um, what have you posted on social media at this point? Nothing. Pick- nothing i'm not i wouldn't post no pick of no. you no pick of you and jack no in the drinks next reception day. always next day. all right cool um, i'm not uploading and wondering what people are doing on my social media whilst i'm at a wedding are you even on your phone barely nice we're taking some photos yeah. we're taking photos they've also given you a little qr code for their Fine. scanning I'll thing scan and do that for you're them. gonna do some photos for them yes cute you're gonna do a photo of your table yeah like i feel like these are the ways of being this is like normal guest we're we're upgrading ourselves. I'm appreciating all the little hard work and effort you've gone to. And we're doing a group photo of the table, something that the couple mm. would really appreciate. And we're taking photos with people that you might not know. And then you're showing that we've all been friends and look how much fun we're having. Okay, couple are in. We're into speeches. Yep. Give me, and I want five things that you're not doing during speeches. I am not on my phone. <gasps> I haven't told you something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <gasps> Mate. Wait, let me get comfy. 
I was at a wedding the other day. <laughs> Lovely wedding. The, one of the genuinely one of the nicest couples I've ever worked with. Just really sweet. We're so in love with each other. Adorable. Dad does his speech. One of the best father of the bride speeches I've ever heard. I'll tell you about it another day. It was really cute. Groom does his speech. And there's people talking. There's a table over here talking. It's pissing me off. So, and there's actually two tables talking, but one are talking louder than the other. I stand myself over there just to be a little bit more like, okay, shut the fuck And I keep looking. I'm, I'm making it clear that I'm looking at them and that I can hear you talking because they're not doing this. Oh, it's a really funny line he's saying. They're like this. Yeah, so just fucking normal conversations are happening. Oh, that's rude, man. At the table. At this point, the best man is doing his speech and he's, he's not like, uber confident like he's yeah. not super loud right? it's just a normal guy trying to do his best man speech probably the hardest speech of the day as is they're fucking chatting they're still fucking chatting so the groomsman who sat obviously on a nearer table turns around and goes shh be quiet and i'm like love that go you a... hun yeah the man on the chatty table gets up it is mid this guy is still speaking storms over to the groomsman table and is going would you fucking say what do you fucking say to me? Don't fucking shush me. Like having a go at this groomsman. I am stood in the back. Like what the fuck is happening? I don't know what to do at this point. I'm ready to go over and like sit him down or take him out. Fucking little old me. Like why don't I, I can arm wrestle him. That's as much as I can do. The girl, a woman from the chatty table comes over and brings him back over and sits him down. This is the gr- The best man is still speaking. Oh, bless him. The groomsman is probably, because the, the guy that got up was scarier than the groomsman guy. Yeah. So I would have been slightly worried about that. Um, <laughs> And then the speech is finished. We're all clapping. And I see the dad beeline for that table and starts going, don't fucking disrespect. Well, I couldn't hear it exactly, but it was, it was him saying, how rude of you to be talking to your thing. So yeah. I then have to go over because the sons of the dad are coming over as well. And I'm like, fuck me. I don't want a fight going on in the middle yeah. of this. I'm then going over and trying to say to the dad, like, come away. Don't even, yeah. don't even think you it. Um, so I'm like in between them trying to be like, okay, so like, just go sit down. Blah, 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 blah. And it all just kicks off. There was no fight, but it was like, mm. I managed to get the dad away. I then got the sons to go and sit down. I was like, it's going to ruin your day. I was like, just leave. This is all before food. This is all before Wild. food. Literally, I was just like, and then and then those guys for the rest of the thing were like, you fucking telling me to be quiet during the speech. And I'm like, you're vile. Yeah. To talk like that through all of the speeches. There you go. And you got shushed by someone. You should have shut Shh. the fuck up. You shh, 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 shh. Sorry, carry on. Five things we're not doing. I just couldn't, I was literally sitting there like, there's going to be a fight and I'm going to have to try and do something in this and it was not fun. Five things not to do during speeches. I'm not on my phone. Not on your phone. I'm not talking. Not talking. Are you filming on your phone? Nope. No, unless they've asked you, I don't think it's your responsibility to be filming it. No, I'm not eating. Like I've seen people have like their bread and then they're like. Yeah, Okay. So we can eat quiet stuff though. If they've provided bread for you, or is that in between speeches? I would, I would wait. Okay, fair. I'm not going to the toilet. Until when? Until after one of the speeches are finished. Like if I'm dying, yeah. then I will wait until yeah. the speech is over. Okay. And then I'm not heckling beyond, beyond my means, you know? Like mm-hmm. I need, and I'll give a little bit of a woo! Or, uh, Fine, but I'm and not one going, thing is go funny. On, son. Go on, son. <laughs> go on, go England. Like I wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. I appreciate that. I've heard someone go. They're doing a speech about about it. I think it was agreement about it. They're like, yeah, up the blues, and I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, no. not even the football theme. Not wedding sweet, I did did that. Not no, oh, honey, sweet, you know it's a wedding. You like them. What? Like the five they were great. Can I have five things that we should be doing during speeches? Uh, we should be listening. Yes. <laughs> we should be engaging. So if they ask you to do something or could everyone stand up and raise a glass and we're going to do that and yeah. be, be normal, yeah. normal human beings. Nice. Five things we are doing during speeches. Yeah. It's everything opposite to what I said earlier. <laughs> not on uh, my uh, No, not, no, no. I think I want more to be really good guests. I've got a few. Do you want some help? Yeah. I am turning to face the person doing the speech. Yeah. No, I, I hate when people are sat forward and then like looking over their shoulders as if they're bored. Yeah. If I can turn around, we're, we're here for Body at least half language. an hour. Um, I am also clapping at obvious, like in a speech. I literally have said that. No, you said engaging, which I appreciated, like the whole standing and being engaged. But there's, a, there's this thing that happens where some people don't know what to clap. And what happens at the end is they say, we're going to raise a toast now. So get you, raise your toast. We're going to raise, are they clean? Yeah. We're going to raise a toast to the bride and groom. 
to the bride and groom and everyone goes cheers yay, yay. sit back down and then you clap no, but I think they clap you have to clap so everyone cheers yeah and then they, they have a sip and then and there's no. a 10 second window you start a clap but what I think this is the awkward bit of between like you know I said I feel like if that was the um, groom it'd be like oh please can we give it up for like this is why a master ceremony does help sometimes like, yeah. if it doesn't it's like please give it up for the best man or please yeah. give it up for the father of the bride a master like, ceremony an MC can change an entire day because I, I feel like the cheers I do get it is I, hard. I get why people yeah. like, and then everyone sits down and they're like I literally stand and I watch them cheers and I watch when the majority of people put their glass out. <laughs> I'll start it. Yeah. But I also think in the speeches, there are some obvious times when they want the claps. Yeah. And it's almost on their speech to be like... So yeah. basically, if they're ever speaking about a specific personal group of people, yeah. after each one deserves a clap. Yep. So they say... Um, and I just want to say how thankful I am to the bridesmaids and they're so beautiful and they've helped us so much and I just think they're all wonderful and honestly, girls, Woo! thank you so much. <laughs> to my groomsmen, blah, blah, blah. Like there's a, cla- yeah. a little mini clap in between everyone and if the other people aren't doing it, you're fucking doing it. Yeah. You'll start, as soon as one person starts clapping, you'll all start clapping yeah. and then we're good. What was that? How many is that? Four. We just need one more thing that you should be doing in speeches. I think you should be laughing. Yes, definitely. I think there's a difference between going... <laughs> I'm being really into it and going, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, brilliant. Ha. I just think it's, if you haven't done a speech at a wedding, yeah. you have no idea how horrific it is. When we did the wed talks at the national wedding show, how hard were they? Yeah, hard. Because, and it's not because everyone wasn't laughing because it was hilarious, but you're wearing headphones. So you can't hear anybody laughing you could hear nothing. So the first, the first one I did, you weren't there because you were ill. And I was like, this is going down like an absolute lead balloon (laughs) because everything I'm saying is trying for laughs. That's my personality and I just want everyone to like me. I can't hear anything. We've encouraged people to look down at their phones to be doing the notes to write their timing because I'm like, oh my God, everyone's (laughs) writing on social media that they hate me. And and then it's only when I actually looked at people's mouths, I was like, oh, we're all right. They're good. So please be encouraging and nice when people are doing a speech. Let's just make a little bit more effort than normal to make them feel like it's going down well. I agree. I agree. Right. Okay, speeches are finished. What are you doing now? Waiting for my food. Now you're going to the toilet. That's your opportunity. Yep. Is it obvious when the last speech is? Yeah. Okay. We're waiting until... It's typically best man. It will be very obvious. Yeah, and the food will just start. Background music will start. Go. That's your time. Yep. What are we not doing during the food time? We are not complaining about our food. What if it's really bad? No, not your place. But... Not but, my circus, not my monkey. I have not paid for this. Okay, but if it's cold... Are we asking... Oh, sorry, is there... I wouldn't say anything. What if it's wrong? What if that's not what you ordered? Sorry, sorry. Well, as soon as I put it down, I'd say that. Okay. Oh, that's not mine. Okay. What if it's... So we're just not complaining about food? No, not at all. Okay, fine. Okay, so during food, we're just eating our food. We're just enjoying ourselves. Are we going up to the couple at this point? No. Oh, I don't Let know. them be. But what if you haven't seen them yet? No, but you don't want to queue for them at top table. I think this is where you guys as the couple go around to each table because I think people are desperate to speak to you, but they don't feel like they want to come and interrupt you, especially if you're on like a sweetheart table. I think you have to go over to each table so that they can say, hi, oh my God, you look incredible. You look so nice. Ra rah, rah. Agree. Yeah, 100%. Um, okay. Is there anything else that we should or shouldn't be doing during the wedding breakfast? No. Just good manners. Just say what you could e- do. Table yeah. fucking manners. Te- table manners. <laughs> Just also a bit of plate stack. Like, give them your plate. Give them your plate. They're all working as well. Pass them it. Pass them yep. the fucking dish that you put on the side next to it. Let's just be kind and helpful. Don't steal any napkins. Yeah. Don't steal any cutlery. Don't draw don't on any cloths. Draw on any cloths. Like, just be normal people. Cool. What about drinks? What's our etiquette with drinks? We drink what's on the table. What if you don't like it? You go and buy your own drink. Cool. Fine. Easy. What if the bar's not open? You have water on your table. <laughs> yeah. I think just don't kick up a fuss. Like you're there as a guest. You've not paid for anything. It's not your like. I think we should be looking at it as we do when we go to someone's house for dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You would never yeah. at somebody's house for dinner say, oh, "I don't like that wine." Yeah. Is there anything else? No, there yeah. isn't. Barbara you should fucking talk about that. Um. Yeah. Okay. New rule. New rule. You've gone to their house for dinner and you've provided nothing. Mm-hmm. You've just dressed for the occasion and sorted out childcare. Well done. Um. Okay. We're in that cocktail hour. Are we going to see the couple now? Yeah, if they're around, I wouldn't like queue, but I'd be like, oh, hi guys, you 
you okay? Like if they kind of walk past and yeah. you kind of... Are we go- we're going in the photo booth. Yeah, we're going in the photo booth. We're, we're going, going to the bar. bar. We're going to have tea and coffee. Yeah. The tea and coffee station. We're going to cheer when they cut the cake. Yeah. What are we doing during the first dance? We are standing nicely, smiling. Yeah. And then they do this. And then you go. That was a little hand wave. Yeah. Go where? You go on the dance floor. Yeah. And, and then you slow dance and you do what you want and yeah. you cheer at the end and it's all lovely and, and you stay on the dance floor cool. and dance. How long for? However long. When do you think is appropriate for a guest to be able to come off the dance floor? Whenever. If you're trying to be good. Yeah, I just think the first few songs are always good and they will be natural like dips and stuff, but make sure you're having fun. Okay. Um, You want to leave? Yep. Yeah. It's half eight. Ooh, well, I wouldn't leave at half eight. Okay. What do you say? You want to leave? What do you, what's the plan of action i would say oh we're leaving an hour or so shall should we? we get another drink let's wait get for another drink, yeah. i don't think you should be leaving before evening food. agree i think you should absolutely should not be leaving before the first dance which weirdly happens still quite a lot yeah no Older i think ones. first dance evening food yeah and then you just you don't need to make a fuss out of it you politely leave are we saying goodbye no irish goodbyes yeah go. irish goodbyes um okay is there anything that we have missed in that wedding daytime of stuff that's important to be doing. I just think attitude is the good one. We're there for free. Yep. We're enjoying what they've provided for us. Is it your wedding, Beth? Nope. No. We're here for a good time. We're not moaning to other guests no. about anything. We're just acting as we would want guests to act on yeah. our wedding. Exactly. What comes around goes around. Karma, bitch. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Right. That was a bit oh, much. Wow. Hasn't been a very aggressive episode, has it? Yeah. Um, what are we doing after the wedding? We are saying the sentence of thank you text. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yesterday was amazing. Can't yeah. wait to see the photos. It's yeah. perfect from start to finish. You posting yet? Yeah, I'll post. Have a great honeymoon. What are you posting? Just like a photo of me and my okay. partner. All right, okay. And then I wouldn't post anything until they posted. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Is that allowed? <laughs> yeah. Do I pass? Miss? But I think then you pa- then you could post loads. Yeah. And be proud of like, my yeah. friends got married. Look how good it looked. I also think send them everything. Yeah, definitely. Stick it in a wee transfer file. Send it over to them and just be like, here's just loads of bits that I got from the wedding day because I promise you they want to see it. They want to see everything. Like I still now think there's some photos out there I mm-hmm. haven't seen. And I'd love to. I'd love to see them all. Yeah. Want to see everything. Um, are we doing anything else post wedding? No, I don't think so. I think just talk about it positively. Yeah. Don't speak about it in a bad way or, or I didn't like this or I didn't like that. Just, it was great. Good vibes. Good, Good vibes. vibes. Again, guys, it's not your wedding. It's not your wedding. My favorite tip to tell people when they're asking about somebody moaning about something is to text back and say, that is such a nice idea for your wedding. AKA, fuck off, this is my day. <laughs> um, that was fun, I enjoyed that. You were a really good guest. Uh, did I pass, miss? You did pass. That would That is like full A star level Thank you. of guest etiquette on a wedding day. Well done. Thank you very much. Um, I hope that helps, guys. Absolutely put this link anywhere <laughs> yeah. you want. Accidentally share it to your stories so that people see it. Yeah. Accidentally say, this is what I'm expecting of you on our wedding day. Full energy. That's all that is required from a guest on your day. And if they can't do that, don't come. <laughs> okay heard it here first okay i got a little bitches from a bride are you ready are you ready hey girls hey girlies <laughs> it is a girl hey girls have a bitch from a bride for you and hopefully you can offer some advice i'm getting married in less than two months and cannot wait everything for the most part has gone well aside from pre- and ha- aside from pretty minimal drama The issue is I have just got back from my hen weekend and it was amazing. The problem I have is that I decided not to invite my future mother-in-law and she has now taken it upon herself to message my hubby to be complaining and demanding to know why she wasn't in attendance. Problem is I do not have a relationship with her at all. Despite us being together five years and them living five minutes away, we maybe see them six or seven times a year because they make no effort with us. At the beginning, I made loads of effort, but realized it was very one-sided, so quickly gave up on that. In our entire relationship, I have seen our, I've seen my mother-in-law twice without my partner present. We don't text, we don't chat or call, and quite frankly, she's been really rude slash uninterested in the wedding from the get-go. I don't see why she should then get to waltz in at the end and feel entitled to attend something that is, to be honest, about me as a person, and for her to be upset about it is weird. Hubby also doesn't see anything wrong with her not being invited to my hen and he's not inviting his dad or my dad to his stag. Am I completely in the wrong here or how do you feel that I might have hurt hurt my mother-in-law's feelings? I feel like I'm going to flip this one to you. Because <laughs> I've got a good mother-in-law relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so my mother-in-law has always lived abroad for the majority of me and Brian being together. So 
different relationship i invited her to the family hen so that was my like involvement yeah but she couldn't come because she had covid (laughs) so um i don't i just think how do you get around that though how do you how do you thingy a mother-in-law that want said she wanted to come but then you've got nothing to do with them I just think if you haven't got that relationship, it's weird. And if you've not invited anyone else that's older, maybe. Yeah, I imagine from the sounds of it, her her mum's going. But it's... Do you text? Yeah, maybe. Do you text and say... say, So sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, but spaces were limited and like... (sighs) Can we have a little get together? Why don't we go for a meal? Yeah. The mother-in-law relationship is weird. I feel like bridesmaids, mothers-in-laws... And Hindus are the issues with weddings. That's where I'm at. That's what I've decided. Right. I'll hear nothing more about it. That is the end of the episode. And that is the problem with the wedding industry. Okay, love you. Bye. See you later.